So earlier this week I was trying to organize my calendar with all of the events and tests and everything that we have going on this week for me and my boys. And I, every time I put in the word test, it auto-corrected to rest. And truthfully, my calendar is full of tests and expectations and I was thinking, what should the expectation be for rest? Even as a lot of us are at home, there's still a ton of noise and there's busy everywhere. <laughs> Just wanna shoot one video. So maybe we aren't all in the same situation, but we all have to deal with everything that comes at us moment to moment. But in all of the noise, <laughs> And, and all of the things we're putting on our calendar to get done, God wants you to know that you can trust him and that you have a safe place to find rest in him. In Psalm 62, David writes, Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress and I will never be shaken. Now David knew a thing or two about needing rest and what it took for um, fortresses and protection. Because before he was a king, he was actually an outlaw and being chased by King Saul who wanted him killed. And David acknowledged God as his true rock and fortress. And one place that he could find safety and rest and be still. So among all of the busyness and the noise we still find ourselves in, it is important to make time to rest and to be still with God, and to try to find some quiet. We can let God give our busy minds some rest. Put it on your calendar if you have to. No matter where you find yourself, know that God's got this, and he's going with us. I hope you're able to find some rest and stillness with the Lord today. And if you can, tell us what rest looks like for you in the comments below.